Hello everyone, as we have already discussed some linear block codes, that is one of them was simple parity check. Another was 2D parity check. And the third one we discussed last time was Hamming codes. Today we are going to cover another one known as cyclic codes. Cyclic code is another special linear block code in which having one special property that is this is our code word and if we rotate this the new code word generated will be also another of the cyclic code in the table we used. So let's say see so we are going to do an example here so let's say we have a k-bit data word data word we are performing what cycle cyclic redundancy check this is a method used on cyclic codes to detect errors so we have k-bit data word and bit code word we are going to append how many that is n minus k zeros to the right of our data word and there will also be a divisor used by the generator n minus k plus 1 length of divisor So, let's say mm, we are having 4 bit data word. So, we are having 4 bit data word. Let's say it's 1001, for example. And we are going to add n minus k zeros to the right. So, what is mm, 7 minus as we are going to make a code word of 7 7 minus 4 equals to 3 so we are going to add 3 zeros 1 2 3 and the length of the, of the divisor will be 7 minus 4 plus 1 what is it 4 so the divisor both party, parties will use they will decide it before sending the data so let's perform the division the division is not that simple binary division it is the XOR division it is much easier than that let's see this is our data word these are the three zeros we added then this is the divisor that both parties choose divisor so first we will see the first bit is one so we will just put in the question one and put this here one zero one one and we are going to perform xor operation one one as we all know, we all know what XOR does. One XOR one equals to zero. Zero XOR one equals to one, and zero XOR zero equals to zero. So, hmm. one XOR one is zero. One zero and zero whatever so you get this okay now this zero comes down now this zero comes down so the first one is zero so we'll put zero here 
and we will do xor with 0 0 0 we will use the divisor as 0 0 0 0 as this one is greater we can't use it so when the first bit is 0 just put 0 and use the divisor as 0 and perform the xor operation again 0 0 0 0 0 0, 0 1 see we got 1 and this is ignore so now this one comes down 0 so checking the first bit again which is 1 so we will put 1 here and our divisor see we put divisor here otherwise we put 0 so when we put 1 we put our divided by divisor 1 0 1 1 performing XOR 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 okay. so now this 0 comes down 0 as this is smaller we will and the first one is 0 as I told just put 0 here and divided by 0 0 0 0 so 0 0 0 0 performing XOR again we will get this okay this is the remainder and this is the redundant bits we are going to add after the data word we, we will ignore this okay so our data word was this okay 1001 and this is the remainder we got so 1001 our data word and plus this remainder 110 now this is our code word which we will send so this is sent to the receiver now what happens on the receiver side the code receiver received is 1001110 this was the remainder and this was the original data word and the divisor both parties agreed to use is this so the receiver will perform again the same division operation as we performed before so this is 1 so just put 1 here and put the divisor 1 1 so 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 and just ignore this ok now this one comes down so the first one is 0 just put 0 divided by 0 0 0 ok so 0 0 0 0 perform XOR again 1 0 1 0 1 ah. Now this one comes down. First one is one. Just put one in the question. Divided by one zero one one. What we get? Zero zero zero. And ignore this first word. This zero comes down. First one is zero. Divided by zero 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 put 0 in the question ok what we will get 0 ignore the first one 0 0 0 so this is the syndrome the receiver generates so when this syndrome is 0 0 0 means no error occurred Okay, if some error occurred, you won't get this syndrome that is the last 3 bit syndrome. So, this is how we perform cyclic redundancy check. Okay, see you next time.